The Governor of the State of New Jersey is head of the executive branch of New Jersey's state government. The office of Governor is an elected position, for which elected officials serve four-year terms. Governors cannot be elected to more than two consecutive terms, but there is no limit on the total number of terms they may serve. The official residence for the governor is Drumthwacket, a mansion located in Princeton, New Jersey. The office of the governor is at the New Jersey State House in Trenton. The first governor of New Jersey was William Livingston, who served from August 31, 1776, to July 25, 1790. The current governor is Democrat Phil Murphy, who assumed office on January 16, 2018. His term ends in January 2022. Role The governor is directly elected by the voters to become the political and ceremonial head of the state. The governor performs the executive functions of the state, and is not directly subordinate to the federal authorities. The governor assumes additional roles, such as being the commander-in-chief of the New Jersey National Guard forces when they are not federalized. Unlike many other states that have elections for some cabinet-level positions, under the New Jersey Constitution the governor and lieutenant governor are the only officials elected on a statewide basis. Much like the President of the United States, the Governor appoints the entire Cabinet, subject to confirmation by the New Jersey Senate. More importantly, under the New Jersey Constitution, the Governor appoints all Superior Court judges and county prosecutors, although this is done with strong consideration of the preferences of the individual state senators who represent the district where vacancies arise. The governor is also responsible for appointing two constitutionally created officers, the New Jersey Attorney General and the Secretary of State of New Jersey, with the approval of the Senate. As amended in January 2002, state law allows for a maximum salary of $175,000. Phil Murphy has stated that he will accept the full salary. John Corzine accepted a token salary of $1 per year as governor. Previous Governor Jim McGreevy received an annual salary of $157,000, a reduction of 10% of the maximum allowed, while Chris Christie, Murphy's immediate predecessor, accepted the full gubernatorial salary. The governor has a full time protective security detail from the Executive Protection Unit of the New Jersey State Police while in office. A former governor is entitled to a one person security detail from the New Jersey State Police, for up to six months after leaving office. Lieutenant Governor On Tuesday, November 8, 2005, the voters passed an amendment to the New Jersey State Constitution that created the position of Lieutenant Governor of New Jersey, effective with the 2009 elections. Before this amendment was passed, the President of the New Jersey Senate would have become Governor or Acting Governor in the event that Office of Governor became vacant. This dual position was more powerful than that of an elected governor, as the individual would have had a major role in legislative and executive processes. As a result of the constitutional amendment passed in 2005, Governor Richard Cody, serving from November 2004 to January 2006 as governor, was the final person to wield such power. Kim Guadano, a former prosecutor, was sworn in as New Jersey's first lieutenant governor on January 19, 2010, under Governor Christie. Succeeding Guadano, former Assemblywoman Sheila Oliver was sworn in on January 16, 2018 under Governor Murphy. <inaudible> <inaudible> Center on the American Governor The Center on the American Governor, at Rutgers Eagleton Institute of Politics, was established in 2006 to study the governors of New Jersey and, to a lesser degree, the governors of other states. Currently, the program features extensive archives of documents and pictures from the Byrne and Keene administrations, video interviews with many members of the respective administrations, some information on other American governors, and news updates on current governors of all 50 states. The project is in the process of creating new archives, similar to the Byrne and Keene archives, for later administrations. Oath of office 
I, A. B., elected Governor of the State of New Jersey, do solemnly promise and swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, and that I will diligently, faithfully, impartially, justly, and to the best of my knowledge and ability, execute the said office in conformity with the powers delegated to me, and that I will to the utmost of my skill and ability, promote promote the peace and prosperity and maintain the lawful rights of the said state, so help me God." See also Governorship of Phil Murphy List of colonial governors of New Jersey